my heart breaks daily when I think about this moment. The moment right before they permanently closed Hay's casket. I couldn't stop kissing his sweet face and saying sorry my sweet baby boy over and over again. It wasn't just a nightmare, it was real life. A wife that loses a husband is called a widow. A husband who loses a wife is called a widower. A child who loses his parents is called an orphan. There is no word for a parent that loses a child. It is something people don't give a word to because it isn't talked about. It is too scary. This is our reality, I have been asked often, but what was most difficult about Hayes' fight? One of the most difficult was feeling completely alone in a world of over 7 billion people. That no one really knew what Steve and I were feeling. The feeling of life continuing to move on when ours was moving in slow motion, in a hospital room, in the painfully slow motion of childhood cancer treatment. I remember when my baby boy Hayes began cancer treatment. I remember thinking, wow, my baby has cancer. He must be one of the first ever. But as I walked into the cancer unit at Primary Children's Hospital, I saw all of these beautiful, little bald heads and I remember thinking, there must be an influx of childhood cancer in Utah. As I expressed this to my husband, he told me with realization that cancer was probably something not new. Cancer was probably something that has been around forever and we hadn't known. We didn't know because we had to drive carpool, we had to shop for groceries, we had to pack our kids' school lunches and we had to help them with homework. The mundane had camouflaged the frightening truth that childhood cancer was destroying lives of thousands around us. Losing a child is beyond anything you can comprehend. I remember when I was a first-time mother. My stomach would clench in nausea at the thought of losing a child. It is so beyond any pain any parent can possibly imagine. Losing a child is like having half of you literally die. Half of you slowly dies in the pain of childhood cancer. The pain of not wanting to admit the nightmare of the possibility of losing a child. But here is the thing, even up until the last minutes of my baby's life I was reaching out to doctors around the world for answers. I knew I was missing something. I had to be because in my mind, Hayes was going to smash anything that I was scared of. Hayes was going to beat this. He had to because I had faith. As I watched my baby boy breathe his last breath, he breathed into mere strength I never knew was possible. He knew he was changing the world and I was just the beacon to carry on his legacy. You know what else was incredibly painful about his cancer fight? Watching my baby boy battle, literally scream through the pain of cancer treatment. Watching him get fevers over 103 degrees and moan in pain because he couldn't swallow from the pain of mouth sores from chemo. As a parent, it is a heartbreaking realization that I don't have one bit of say in my child's life. The cancer and chemo were in charge and I was just a spectator in the fight. It hurts too much to actually realize. He couldn't even be home. He was so weak from the chemo that he was stuck in the hospital for over 30 days at a time. He and I left our family completely separated. I was lonely and my husband was lonely. It was so hard. But it was all worth it because I would have given anything to fix it. If I hadn't tried everything to fix Hayes, I would have regretted it. No question. Because my worst nightmare would have been wondering if I had done everything I could to fix it. And as it turns out, I did all I could. Losing a child though puts you in an entirely different group because all of a sudden you no longer belong to the childhood cancer group. Now you belong with families that have lost a child to accidents, to overdose, to anything without a label. Simply I am a child loss mum and any mum that has lost a child gets it. It just hurts so much. 